what is up guys, it's Zaris HD, and welcome to episode number 5 of this Ghostbusters firehouse. Now, in the last episode, you saw me do the speed build towards the end by putting all the walls on, and we put the second lever on and built up the whole, uh, whole build so far on the second level. So what we're going to do today, guys, we are going to jump straight into the interior, okay? And, uh... I'm using shaders today, guys, because uh, single non-shaders is uh, ugly. So I'm just going to get a bit of glowstone first off, and I'm just going to pop that over here so I've got some extra light, okay? So what we're going to use is we're going to use a gray wool. We're also going to use a hopper. Well, I'm going to grab all the, all the utensils and stuff now. I'm going to use a couple of signs. We're going to use item frames, and I might use black carpet for the door handles. Uh, I'm going to also go and grab uh, blocks of iron, uh, a lump of ice over here, and uh, I'm going to also grab a trap door, and uh, I think I might use some tripwire hooks to get started. All right, so what we're going to do, we're going to come to this point right here, and we're just going to lay out one gray block, and we're going to leave a three space gap, and place three more gray blocks just like that. I'm going to pop one here as well, and right here is I'm going to place a fridge with an ice cooler on it. All right, now from here, I'm just going to use three hoppers, and I'm going to use three hoppers here. Because even though you'll see we've got a couple of kitchens we're going to put in today, uh, the firehouse had more than one, so we're just going to do that. Um, I'm going to leave a three space gap. So one, two, three. And on this one, I'm going to put three wool as well. I'm going to bugger off the wool, and I'm just going to grab a furnace. Because this is going to be like their oven cooktop sort of thing. So that is the general layout of the kitchen right now. Okay? So from here, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put in like some drawers uh, here and here. I'm also going to put item frame on there and cover it off with three drawers. So I'm just going to pop in the signs now as well, just to cover it all off neat and tidy. Uh, pop that there and there. And um, I think I might pop them on here as well, oh, just to make it all nice and neat and tidy and clean like that and followed that with our draw handles so it's just pretty much a, a basic draw setup guys nothing uh, very modern and fancy but we can see it's starting to look like a nice kitchen already so from here what I'm gonna do is uh, I'm gonna knock out that one and just put a gray block in there yeah I think that looks pretty cool right here I'm just gonna put two trip eye hooks uh, symbolize taps and stuff like that. You can, I suppose, go as far as putting iron frames and the color of blue and red for hot and cold water. I'm not going to bother because you pretty much know what this is all about. But I'm just going to close that off here like that and one around here and maybe one around the back just to symbolize the door. And what we might do as well is grab a weighted pressure plate and just pop that in there Actually, no, I'm not going to put that there. I'll use a dropper for that, I think. Yeah, it's sort of like an ice bucket fridge. You just put your ice cubes in there and whatnot. Um, one of my doors as well. Let's grab these again and just pop in three over here. Don't know what they'll be. I don't know. Hot, cold, warm. <laughs> Probably. Um... And with that, I'm just going to go and grab some black carpet again, since I got rid of it. I'll pop that there. And I might just tidy off the run with black carpet across the top. Just like that. Here, here, and here. So we've got that basic, basic setup. Um, I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to go and grab some stone slabs. And right here, what I'm going to do... Is I'm going to come up to this level and place a slab on across the top burners. Hopefully that will come down. Beautiful. Look at that. I mean, you can tart it up as well, I guess, if you wanted to 
you know, put in your you know, sort of things like that right around. I'm just going to leave it as is for the minute. And I'm going to move that over here and knock that one out. Now I suppose what we can do as well, we can raise that up just another one. And then raise that all the way to the top. Just like that. Just one big range hood from the top. From here, we'll just grab our weighted pressure plates and just pop three on the top. I think that sets that off nice and clean and tidy. Looks really good like that. Beautiful, beautiful. Next step, what we're going to do uh, is pop in another drawer here with a sign there and a bit of black carpet there. So we've got plenty of drawer space for the kitchen. Next step, we're going to grab some iron bars and with them, we are just going to place them up here to about there. So three three height because we're going to put like an edging on the top as well. From this point, we're going to grab our trap doors, which we've got. And coming down to this level, it should be perfect for shelving. So we'll just put three across there as well. And we should continue this run right across the top here to there. Maybe one higher, I think. Bring up to there. Just a bit of extra height like that. And I suppose we could place them on top as well. So we've got the shelving set up beautifully, beautifully. Now in this corner here, you're going to probably see there's not going to be much here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go and grab a, uh, where is it? Cauldron. I'll just type it in. Cauldron. And I might also grab some bushes just to add some extra color and whatnot to it. Here, here, and here. Okay, so now our next step is I'm going to go and put an edging on the top. And I think what I'm going to do is I might use a dark, what have we got, spruce wood planks. I might use a dark oak. What's this one? Dark oak wood stairs. And I'm just going to place that across the top. So it gives it a nice edging. Continue it all the way through like that. So we've, we've changed the colors then, see? Got a different color texture through the actual build itself. And in this corner, what I might do is pull that out and just grab a beacon. So we've got a little bit of light coming through the corners just like that. I think that looks pretty cool. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. So we've got that little edging here. I might change this up. It might go right across. I'm still undetermined if it should go right across or not. For the time being, since I'm just working the kitchen, I'll just mark it like that. All right. Now, in the Ghostbusters movie, um, I don't think you see much of it, but there's plain walls. You can go as far as putting on pictures if you wanted to put a picture here, since it's you know very blank and spaced out, you know, with nothing. So we can place a picture up, I guess. Something like that. But that is the basic kitchen in the Ghostbusters uh, firehouse via the blueprint as well. So now what we're going to do now is move into putting the um, pool table, because they've got a pool table here. And uh, so we're going to do that. Uh, I'm going to go lime green for the pool. And lime green wool for the carpet. I'm also going to grab some signs as well. Where are they? There we go. Grab some signs. And I'm also going to grab a hopper as well. Okay. Now, pretty much simple. In line with the hopper there. I'm going to come out by four. So one, two, three, four. And right here, we're going to place a hopper facing down. Just like that. All right, and we're going to place a hopper here, 
and I think here and here. Now, I don't know about these. I might take these off. Yeah, I might, I might take them off or move it. Either way, it looked good. Um, lime green wool through the whole lot there. And in here, we can obviously do our pool table with Q sticks. Just grab a sign that which you already got and just pop that in like so. Followed with carpet throughout the whole lot. Here, here and here. And like that. And that just looks a bit stupid like that. So what I'm going to do is extend it. I'm going to put a hopper here, hopper here, extend it out. Oh, come on, here we go. Two, and a hopper at the end. I think that will be more realistic as a big pool table. Yes. Yes, yes, indeed. So, carpet on the top. Got your corner pockets. And now, the painful part of going right around the actual build of... with signs. Oop, take that off. Like that. Here and here. Well, in the Ghostbusters uh, Firehouse guys, they actually liked their entertainment when they weren't getting call-outs and stuff, so... It's a matter of putting all this in in arcade games and stuff. And here and here. So there we go. We've got our Ghostbusters pool table to set us off. Nice and ready. Look at that. Right here as well, I'm going to also put in a carpet rug. So I'm going to quickly grab some grey. I'll also grab some white. And obviously I'm going to stick with black. And it doesn't matter with the design, guys. But we're going to keep it in line with this. And in line with this to this point right here. Might just bring that down like so. Run a bit of dark grey up like that. And maybe just a black line towards the end. So just a, just a rug that they had in there like that. So our next line of defense is this side over here and we've got to put up in a beacon under here as well so we'll just grab another one of them here here and up underneath so that pretty much lightens it up just that little bit more so it looks like it's nighttime like eerie feeling and stuff like that and we can't forget as well we've got to use cobwebs okay because we can't forget the cobwebs because it is a sort of like a haunted ghostly sort of you know place old and raggedy there we go I think that looks alright maybe take that one off a bit too much maybe we can stick one up in here like that we've got a couple of cobwebs in there to symbolize it now, we're going to have to start building the stairwell going upstairs. Now, this is going to take a bit of time. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to keep the colors from here. So we need dark spruce wood planks. We need the stairs, spruce wood stairs. Here we go. And I think what we're going to do is come out by five from the wall. So one, two, three, four, five. And then on this one right here, we'll put in our first stair. Like that. Um, I'm probably going to stay with two, but you can do three, I, I guess, if you really wanted to. But we're going to start climbing up underneath now. And don't worry about this part here in the corner because you can put something in there if you don't like stairs covering glass and stuff. But we're going to pop that all the way to the top underneath, like so. leading up to layer number three. 
which will probably start on the next episode. So I'm going to try and get as much done in this episode for this layer as possible. And we'll pop this here and here. So now we've got to start digging out. And I think it's one, one, two, three from the bottom. So one, two, three right here is so we're going to start digging out this like that. Maybe not so wide, just maybe two like that. And dig out this as well. Dig out this like that. Bring this over by one. And that should lead us up nicely to the top. Look at that. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Um, what we could do here is take that off, close that off to about here, or maybe here even. Uh, let's have a look. So we've got the big stairs going up, covering the window, leading up to the next level. Right, I know what I'm going to do. Right here, I'm going to change to dark spruce wood. Dark oak. I'm going to go dark oak. And I'll just grab the dark oak wood. Is that at the top? At the top, where are you? Dark oak wood. Okay. And what I might do is oh, I might just cover that in. Like that. So it keeps it close to the wall. But still keeping the run underneath. And it closes off in that corner. I'll do that, I think. Yeah. Yes, indeed. And I might actually change these as well. Change them to dark oak. Just like that. So that way you've got the whole run through the top. And if we want now, we can actually just do that as well, actually. Cover it up underneath. Fill that in. Like that. Or you can leave it open. To me, I think having the run like this will set it off just that little bit more. What do you think, guys? I like that. Looks way better. Anyway, we're back over here. And we've closed that off nicely now. Beautiful, beautiful. And you know what? I might even close this off just that little bit more. What do you think? I think that is beautiful. And that's our opening for the stairs, all done, which we mentioned in the last episode. So now that that's done, we can move on to the next part over here, which will be this section right here. So what I'm going to do, guys, I'm going to jump straight into this, and I'm going to get some black stained glass panes. I'm going to bring that right to the edge, and I'm just going to run a layer like that, and connect that into the wall there, so you don't fall off the edge and you've got a nice little barrier. And for these things, I might just remove the time being and just place them somewhere else later on. So we've got the barrier and we've got the next stairs going up. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, what I might do as well, guys, is place a, another cauldron right here. And I might just place another tree because we can. I think that will look quite nicely there, by itself. Yeah, beautiful. I'm happy with that. Happy, happy, happy with that. So we're going to go into the next part now. We're going to go back over to this corner. And uh, right here, we're going to count out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And on this point, we're going to come out one, two, three. One, two, three. Bring this out because there was a wall separator. I think that would be to about here, actually, in line with that. And once again, we're going to bring this up with sand as well. Like that. Up. Up. Bring this up as well. 
and bring it to here because this is where we're going to start turning the uh, the stairs so we can turn them around like that right around like so and connect it underneath so it's got that run take that one out in the corner and connect that in underneath if I can come on like that it's got that nice little bend and it filters right through and you've got a nice little wall separator and in here what we've got to do is grab some wool one two three four five six we've got our set of drawers there and we're going to have some cupboards at the top let's grab our signs we're going to quickly pop them in like that and up the top as well I won't bother putting details on guys otherwise we will be here for quite some time but we'll just pop in the item frames for drawers like that and then you can go and put the the handles in which I'll do off oh shit which I'll do off camera <laughs> anyway next step we are going to put two levers on this corner here one two and when we get some player heads we're going to put little player heads on here which is that and now we're going to move over to this section which i'm going to remove this as well just like that and this is where we're going to put in another kitchen all right so we're going to continue with the gray wool which we'll go and get again since we keep losing it and right here, we're just going to place one. We're going to leave a three space gap. Place another one. Leave a two space gap. And place another one. Alright. Because what we can do here now, guys, is we can go and grab our furnace. Chuck in our three furnaces. And we need a hopper, which will chuck in our two hoppers here and here. All right, this little bit here, guys, what we're going to do with a black glass, we've got to cover that in around here like that. So you don't fall down the manhole like so here in here, just like that. So you've got your opening and whatnot. Yeah, and whilst I'm here, actually, guys, I'm not going to forget I'll just grab my pole now I think this will be the spot I'm just going to raise that up ah, one over to there knock that off I know I'm jumping around guys from one part to another but I just want to try and get as much detail in for you guys as possible so we can you know make it look something half decent on an episode so we'll bring that right to the top right through the middle into the next level there we go just like that and this will be fixed up as well with corners and stuff like that there's your slide pole down to ecto one looking good now guys looking good from here once again we're going to put our drawers in because we can let's grab another sign once again and pop that in here here and over here grab our weighted pressure plates pop three on the top obviously we're going to grab our stone again and from that point we're going to come up to the third block here come up again and then run that through to the top about there I say and then continue this right across like so so we've got that happening and then we just filter in the signs as we do for the range hood just like that and then obviously once again like we did down the other end one two three one two three so it's attached to the wall from here, we're just going to grab our trap door as well, and we will pop that 
here and oh, come on down one yeah that will work here and here can we put one there yeah there we go so we've got some shelves happening there as well and once again we'll just grab a lever this time instead of the hooks and we'll just pop that there and there beautiful I'm happy with that and just to tidy off one little bit more detail we're going to just chuck in our black carpet on the tops and whilst we're here may as well do that as well all right so there's our second kitchen from the one down the bottom there right here so from here we're just going to grab a cauldron again and the trees because I like putting a bit of color in as well so I'm going to put some trees here got three high looking cool and I forgot my button for the air conditioner from last episode like that now on this episode guys when it's finished I'm just going to go around and put um, cobwebs around the place it's the way you want to see spiders where they'll be hiding sort of thing so it could be up here or whatnot but that's what we've got so far now our next part that we're going to do is we're going to lead down towards a bedroom okay this is going to be their bedroom in here it's going to be small but it's going to be manageable we are going to grab this wood and we're going to bring that all away i say let's see one block over from here i'm going to bring that up and then we're going to leave a one space gap for their walkway and then we close that off in here and this is their bedroom quarters guys that consists of a bathroom and where they sleep so we're just going to run this up really quickly like that uh, it's just the detail detail of the build is what makes or breaks a build I reckon if you can succeed in putting a detail interior with so much stuff not too much where it's over the top but just enough to make it look realistic and and livable that's what makes the breaks the build because you can make something look good on the outside but it takes skill to put something on the inside and not many people actually like doing interiors so I hope I'm succeeding succeeding on this so we've got that sort of shape right and that's where the bedroom is now what we can do is quickly um, dig out this and I'm going to get my block again like that and fill that in and the reason why I'm filling it in is because when you look underneath it's all one color and I'm going to continue this right round like so now here I'm going to come up right with the dark I'm going to come up by two one two and I'm going to put a stair here all right and then just cover that with sand so you've got the continue run you've got the nice arched doorway pretty high and I'm just going to quickly continue this run right through dig out these three pop in that continue that all the way to the other side dig 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 continue again so it's connected there we go look at that beautiful guys I am really happy with this really happy so let's see where we're we gonna work next we are going to go over this corner and we're gonna go and grab some black wool we're also gonna grab some blue carpet and from here we're going to leave a two space gap and I'm going to place one two three four say five come out like that I'm just going to make a basic sofa but if you've got uh, a lot of better designs and stuff by all means go for it but for this one I'm just doing a basic sofa like that against the wall and we'll just grab one of these we're going to place that say here with some more trees like that 
And I think what we're going to do is... Actually, no, I'm not going to put that there. This is going to be with the entertainment areas, arcades and stuff. So we'll get started on that. And I'm just going to grab some red, uh, yellow wool. And I'm going to place one, two. And also I'm going to place some stone stairs. And I'm going to turn them upside down. Obviously I'm going to place a lever on that, like so. There's a joy pad or something. And some black glass here and here. And I'm going to tidy that off with a block of stone on top. Here and here. So it looks like some sort of like arcade sort of game and whatnot. If you're in 1.8, guys, put a button here so it looks like a joypad and button. But I'm still running 1.7.2. From here, just grab your red block and pretty much just come out next to it by three. And this one here, change it to another color block. Let's try purple and bring that out by three as well because that is going to be our arcade pinball machine which we can do like that um, what we do now is we will go and grab ourselves an item frame real quick and a anvil and this is where I'm going to put our coin slots so we'll just pop that there anvil anvil and then follow that with a sign and that will look like a coin slot return and whatnot in there now because these are side by side if you wanted to make it over one ball you can actually put your buttons on on the side which would be like your little flippers that you'd have so you know flippers and we shall put a detector rail and an was that an activator rail so we'll put one here no nope. up here and here followed with our one with the flipper and all that one whatnot and I think what we'll do as well is we will go and grab redstone comparator and we'll just pop that on the top if we can no it's not gonna let me okay well, we'll just tidy it off with that then. Yeah. Maybe if you want to have a picture on it, just put that on there and chuck a picture of whatever you've got. Oh. Yeah, so that's, oh, lipstick, the lipstick game and uh, the mushroom bomb. <laughs> but there's your little arcade and stuff. Uh, right here as well, we're going to grab our stuff as well. And we're just going to place that one to have another sofa here, like a little two-seater. Grab that here and here, and that carpet along the top. So you've got like a little sit-down entertainment area and whatnot. I think that looks pretty cool. So the last little bit that I can think of, because I'm not going to do the edges this episode we'll do that episode next episode is we're going to put down uh let's see actually you know what i'm going to move that over by one block so we just use a single block a little single sofa like that so we've got more room to work here um we're going to place in a rug and a table and chairs now the table and chairs that i've got is just pretty much basic basic chair design and table so I'm just gonna grab some black glass and what how I'm gonna do this is build the little interview table that they have so I think what I might do is come to the center here and just place a square block Actually, I might bring it over by one like so grab some dark gray carpet just place that on top like that maybe we can come out another one and just remember it might be dark at the moment but we've got to put all the hanging lights in as well so we've got the one space gap so we put a slab here 
here and here for the interview and the interviewer will put a slab here and then we'll just go and chuck some high backs on it like that uh, put a high back here and some high backs here and here just basic basic uh, interview chair and the last little bit guys before we close this episode off is their little eating area and we might put something over there on the next episode but for this table I'm just gonna do it very blocky I'm just gonna grab some glass and I might just grab some black carpet like that and with the glass I think what I might do is oh, let's see place one two three four five six like that yeah I'll just I'll just go that I'm just gonna place uh, carpet over the edges like that grab my slabs place four around like that just no actually I'll tuck them in grab some high backs place them around you know, Bateman Spengler Zedmore and stance around the table and maybe we can you know, tart it up just that little bit more, guys, with a flower pot and a flower. Let's have a look. No, can't put that on there. That's fine. Let's go and grab a black wool. Pop that in the center so it's all ni nice and tidy. Flower pot and bugger it. I like my ferns. Flower pot fern looking good looking good and that pretty much concludes this episode guys um, you can put levers around the place so here and here for player heads you can put pictures up on the walls guys but I think this episode is now going to come to a close uh, it's not worth putting a beacon under there or anything like that we can put like lamps and stuff around. We might go around on the last episode, just make minor touches ups and and whatnot. Um, yeah, and this pattern will go under there as well, and we'll do some more little knickknacks. But that is pretty much this level fully completed for the interior. On the next episode, guys, we will continue the bedroom, which will have the three beds. Watch over here as well. And this will come out to about there, which that will be the shower room and the toilet that they have away from the viewing public. And you'll have beds and stuff and lights and whatnot up there. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. We're getting somewhere now. We're getting making a lot of progress in this. Thank you so much for watching this uh, tutorial. Let's build the interior level two, episode number five. Another one's coming very shortly, guys. Thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, till next time, I'll see you on the next one.